So next time I can play GTA City of Disaster, all these Pokemon games, Mother on Wheels, and uh, Brawl Race. Yeah, we'll dedicate that episode to playing these kind of knockoff games. <laughs> So let's move on to the Unity games! So yeah, it's basically like a tilt platform Pac-Man game. You know, did some glow effects because otherwise it would look pretty plain. The ghosts just knock you away, sometimes they can knock you off the platform. And they all follow you in different ways. I should could probably actually just hold on. I'll maximize and play. There we go, that's what I want to see. Now I can actually see the game. Yeah, man. Uh, the power pellets also do something different where they bang! They turn them into blue ghosts and they'll be back in a while, they've just like gone under the platform. It was just a week slash a couple days project that I did for like a job opportunity that was going. They were like, yeah, make a Pac-Man game, then you know, didn't hear from them. So I was like, cool, guess my game's shit, guess I'll die, stuff like that, you know how it is. And obviously if you collect all the dots, then you can go to the next level, knock these guys down. And the interesting thing is that they wanted me to uh, code the ghosts in different ways so that they have different personalities and, you know, different ways of attacking you, stuff like that. Whatever. So I made Blinky the fast aggressive one, but he's like terrible at turning and he has bad control, stuff like that. Uh, Pinky's more of a smart one. She, she has good control, but she's like bad at power or speed. One of the two. Inky's got good power, but bad speed. Yeah, that's it. And Clyde just does what he wants, as you can see. He he literally just goes where he wants. I, like, made an object that followed a certain path, and then then I made Clyde, like, follow that object, so it kind of goes, like, kind of everywhere. These these platforms get bigger as you go along, and it, uh, it this will give you another life. Platform gets bigger as you go on to the next level. That's basically it. I'll use some earthbound sound effects, cause hell to the yeah of that shit. But I'll just like... There's only three levels, so I'm sure I could complete this. It's just, it's kind of a hard game. And the controls aren't great. It's a tilt platform game, you know, it's, it's kind of agonizing to play. I only did this because, you know, I thought it would be a unique idea and I died anyway, so... There's that. But on to the main event. The game that took me a year. It was my uh, third year project at university. So that should be fun. Here we go, I'll leave the music in because it actually helps with the ambience of the game. And out of all the games I've made ever, this is probably the one that looks the best. Uh, it doesn't control too badly as well, it's just there are certain parts where it's not great. In fact, I need to go to the intro, we can play the intro. I forgot the game has an intro. Yeah, man. Maximize on playing, let's do this shit. Ooh, I got a little cursor. It's a rainy day once again, and more showers are to be expected in the future. So it's get out your coats and umbrellas, because it's looking to, to be another wet week. But you can't do that against her, she's our daughter. My house has been injured by this power of rain. And we knew it would happen. These voices are just two people, you can probably tell. <laughs> My sound editing is quality, haha. Oh shit, son. And then it's gonna pause forever before it starts the actual game. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. So yeah, presentation wise and looks wise. I think the game looks pretty damn good, but this ended up only getting me like a 2-2 at the end of the year. I was one off a 2-1, which is the most frustrating thing in the world. I was salty for that for about like two weeks. And yeah, here we go. I still want to do something else with this game, but um, and I've got ideas for like, oh, Gail goes inside like a depressed guy's mind to try and save him from himself, that sort of thing. Much more complicated than that, obviously, that's not the whole thing, but... Just want to show you the kind of demo thing I made for my final year. Press any key. 
<laughs> Where's the any key? Is it wasd? It's wasd. So yeah, we're just a little girl of an umbrella. Use wasd keys to move. Although I didn't make the music, I really like it because it actually helps with the whole ambience of the uh, game. You interact with a brick to pick it up. Brick's down there. Some people couldn't really see the bricks too well. Don't really blame them. And then... Oh no, I can't get past this. Oh, I can. Well, I broke the game already. The camera's kind of janky as well. Like if you if you like, if you like, oh my umbrella's also melting. This is acid rain, by the way. Let's kill this guy. So uh, my umbrella's gonna start melting, and when my umbrella melts, obviously I'm fucked. And here are just a few puzzles that uh, people couldn't really get past. The game isn't really clear. I wanted to make them puzzles, so obviously I didn't want to tell you the answer. But they're kind of just out of the blue answers that you wouldn't even think of. So here's a bin that's full, right? So, And here's a bucket which has acid rain in it because it would have collected over time. It's a plastic bucket. Don't worry, I'll watch Breaking Bad. Um, throw it. Oh, now the trash is going to start melting. And now the bin's light enough for you to hit it with a brick and topple it over. There we go. The bucket got in the way. That's unfortunate, but we can still like jump over that now. It's a lamp pose that's been... Don't tell me how that chunk got away. Some acid must have got in there somehow. Throw this. Woo! So yeah, the game's a bit janky. It's a bit rough around the edges, but like... Presentation-wise, this seesaw doesn't work like it's supposed to. Ever since I updated the physics in engine. Um... Yeah, my umbrella's gonna die. I, I gotta stop, like, stopping and explaining things. We'll just wait until I can crash into this house. Enter the house by breaking the window, and in we go! Okay, I'm safe now. So that's basically what the game is. I've only got two levels to this as well, so there wasn't that much to show off. It's just everything took such a long time. I had so many bugs to fix, because this was my first game like, that I did myself on Unity. So it's just that sort of thing, but I would have actually been really curious to like see where things would have gone with this. There's this guy who's talking to me. Whoops. I oh, did I exit the level? Did I exit the house accidentally? Right, we're doing it again. There's some things I also want to show off. Look, this guy will chase you. AI! Now he's gonna jump! Come at me again! Now come at me! He's stuck. Okay, never mind. Don't ignore that part. Erica. Is that you? The real you? How is this possible? Dave... Okay, no, this is dialogue that I was going to make for another game, so that this isn't the correct dialogue the old man's supposed to have. You can actually go up the stairs as well. But first I'm going to repair my umbrella. Nice. Up we go! We can go upstairs now! Hey hey! And you can drop down by pressing the down key. And it'll put you back on the... Oh, okay, there you go. Well, this dialogue, just... whatever. That's kind of it. Um, I'll show you the second level. Bit more janky, but whatever. Or was it better? Actually, I think it was better. So we can't get over this van. Even if I jump, I can't get over it. Oh, no. So... I'm gonna have to... Yeet that out of here. Bam! Now we can. Up we go. And then we have a whole like bridge bridge segment here. Oh no, don't hurt me. Haha, -ha. lol, get fucked, mate. Oh, that made the game lag. Took some damage from that, that water because it would have been all acidy. Yeah, is that a real term? Come at me, bro. Hey, that one fell. And then, oh shit, I was supposed to hit it. And I died, and my, and my knees went backwards. My knees went backwards. Um, let's just see if I can do things right. I'm the one who made this game. I shouldn't be dying. I need to save this one brick that I have. So I need these guys kind of just to follow me and be stupid. Because I only have one brick. I can't pick up any more. I'm on the bridge. So I need these guys to kill themselves. Then I can throw this brick down here. Got them both. There we go. Awesome. And then we have to go up in there for the other two bricks. Uh... So we do that by getting this tire off there. Oh, no, don't go over there. 
Whoa, what the fuck? It's never done that before. Oh, that that might have just ruined it. That's that's just gone. That's just gone now. Oh no. But yeah, you're supposed to use that tire and roll it over here. And uh jump up here, collect the bricks, and then enter the next house. I will do that. But the tire is gone. So what I'm going to do is wait for my umbrella to melt and just show you what happens when I don't have an umbrella. Ow! Ow! Luckily we can hide under trees or anything else that has a, you know, I can hide under this for example. But yeah, I will eventually die from this acid rain. Uh Don't know why I've turned that way. Then I just, yeah, I just turn into a ragdoll. We'll try that again. See ya. Another way I can kill this guy is I can also just jump on him. So I'll do that when this other guy comes over here. Oh no, I got stabbed. It's like it's like really specific because obviously if you jump on him you're gonna fall as well. So you have to like jump on his hand. That's like a kind of a cool trick. You don't even have to use your brick. So you can save your brick until like the very last bit of the level. So see where his hand is? I can jump on that. Yeah, got him. Now I can save this brick just in case the tire fucks up again. Which it most likely will do because it's like the jankiest part of the game. Okay. That means a very loud sound. It takes forever to roll. I don't know why it rolled so fast last time I touched it, but it takes forever. Sometimes it'll go at a moderate speed, sometimes it'll take forever. I don't know, it's just janky. Oh shit, now it's going faster. Okay. Well, I could have got these brakes, but I've already got one. You can see it kind of in your hand. It's not very noticeable because obviously you're a fucking silhouette. But that's fine. We'll break into the next house. Rip glass shards. Didn't want them anyway. Now we're in the next house. Not that it makes a difference. Yeah, I didn't add the stairs to this bit. Yeah, this, this is just the final bit. There's no more of the game to show, unfortunately. Actually, I will show you one more thing. If we open the official build of the game... I should have just played this build from the beginning, but I will like show you a few extra things. Just speed run. Fuck you. Shouldn't have done that. Um. That fountain also hurts you, by the way, because you know the acid's gone into the water system. Whatever. Duh. Aha! Now he has the right dialogue. Hello! Who are you? What are you doing in my house? And then... Let's kill him! <laughs> that was worth it. <laughs> that was worth opening the build again. And we got like little details like... This floor makes a different sound when you run on it. You know, your clothes are still a bit damp, so they're giving off, like, slight particle effects. Mainly your shoes, obviously. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed my games. Hopefully one day I can make something else out of this game, because I think it's got potential for something.